Hey guys, it's James here, Appalachian DIY. Um, got a different kind of video I'm going to do today. I'm working with this um, Anova Equus Smart Test Light. Um, essentially, this is uh, what some people would call a, uh, a logic probe. It's basically just a smart test light that will, you know, tell you whether you've got a ground or a power. Um, similar to what some uh, higher quality test lights will do and what the power probe will do. I actually didn't buy this to use it as a smart test light necessarily. This is for a different project that I'm going to be working on in the next couple weeks, which I will be doing that video. And I'm excited about that, so stay tuned for that video. Um, so this to me is just spare parts, but I thought, uh, I thought you know, there might be somebody out there who's actually needing something like this and uh, want to kind of see how it works, what it does. So, um, one cool thing about this test light is that it has these pretty heavy duty alligator clips for the battery. Um, some of the other smart test lights and regular test lights, they only have the real small alligator clips. Uh, these are like the nice sturdy kind of heavy duty ones, which that's cool. That's one of the reasons why I bought this because I need these pieces. Um, another cool thing is that it has a uh, cigarette lighter adapter, uh, kind of like the power probe does. Um, set up differently obviously uh, but it's cool because you can use it on the battery or you can plug it into the cigarette lighter and uh, it'll essentially do the same thing um, so let's go ahead and do that real quick I'm just going to do a very quick rundown on how these things work and how this one specifically works so we'll go ahead and plug it into the cigarette lighter and I know it's kind of bright out here so it's hard to tell how bright this LED is um, I'll try and show it in the dark too but um, uh, there's the white LED so this is also like the power probe where it has the white light once you hook it up to uh, once you hook it up to the battery power and ground so I can unplug it you can see the light goes out plug it back in the lights on so essentially the way this is gonna work is when you touch power here we're gonna get a, uh, a red light when we touch ground here we're gonna get a green light so uh, it's very handy it's a lot easier than in a regular test light where you would have to switch the terminals on the battery or or whatever you can just plug it into your source um, it's kind of crappy on this one because it only comes with a six foot cable uh, but that's not an issue either for me because I'm going to be doing something different with this anyway let's get to real quick uh, what you can use this for how it's gonna work and I'll show you the, uh, the LED brightness alright so we're here at a fuse box which is uh, the most obvious place that that you would be using a, uh, a probe like this um, so if you can see the white light is on I apologize for the uh, the bright sunlight coming through it makes it harder to see but um, so uh, right now we've got it plugged into the cigarette lighter we can touch here on this fuse you can see the red light so we've got power we've got power 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 and so on and so forth so nice easy way to test fuses anything where you're searching for power this is nice and easy oh see there's ground so that's good so that's a good uh, a good little demonstration of that so here we've got power here we've got ground so this circuit runs off ground and all the rest of them are power and, and doing this too you can see that all the fuses are good we don't have to pull any fuses to check to see if they're good and we can also uh, it also tells us that all of these fuses are uh, hot circuits except for this one which is uh, a ground circuit alright guys so we're under the hood now I've got the uh, alligator clamps on the battery so we're doing the same thing essentially as it was with the cigarette lighter you can see that the white light is on so that means I have a good connection to the battery and we, uh, we want to test the uh, just test to see if we got we're getting power here at the uh, at the wiper motor so the first thing I want to do is I want to check and see if we got a good ground so this grounds right here to the body so let's check and see if we have a good ground All right, you can see the green light coming on so that means we have we do have a good ground all right here's the connector for the wiper motor um, I've just got it on 
right now and these two right here should have power from the battery so let's see if they do all right so i got power here i got power here so we know we're getting signal and we've already checked the ground so we've got ground and we've got it we verified our powers so assuming this uh wiper motor is good here then we should be able to plug it in and have wipers all right another cool thing about test lights uh, including this one is that we can use it to check for injector pulse and uh, crank signal cam signal uh, vvt solenoids things like that versus where a multimeter a multimeter doesn't change fast enough it doesn't register fast enough to uh, to uh, to really show up on the uh, on the screen but the test light here you can see if you look very closely you can see it's actually flashing it's not solid so so here we're basically verifying that we are getting <clears throat> we are getting um, signal to the injector so it'll work the same way when testing uh, crank and cam sig uh, sensors uh, they may be ground it may be power either way uh, you'll see and some of them actually switch on some solenoids you'll switch in between power and ground uh, but either way it's a good little uh, functionality of this test light all right guys so that really about wraps it up on this uh, little smart probe test light logic probe um, like I said I didn't buy this to use it exactly as as it was designed here um, if you are thinking about buying it uh, I read a lot of bad reviews on that that the, the longevity of it's not very good um, it only worked a few times and then one of the features stopped working like say the ground light stopped working or the or the uh, you know the cigarette lighter adapter portion of it kind of messed up but I mean this is easy enough to to uh, fix or bypass if something inside here messes up you're basically kind of screwed and you're out 20 bucks because this thing doesn't come apart it's only glued together there's no screws in it whatsoever I mean you can even kind of see the quality of the uh, of the little plasticky weld that they use to join the two halves together isn't all that great um, so I assume trying to take this apart is basically garbage uh, once it does stop working um, so you know buy it at your own risk um, uh, it seems to work so far great that's fine it has the few things that I need for it for the spare parts for the project that I'm working on um, so so far so good um, the features are there, but if you're looking for a better quality one, you know, you might look into something else. I know OTC makes one, CTA makes one, and I'm sure, you know, you can get them off the tool trucks. Of course, on the tool trucks, they're probably made by OTC anyway. Uh, so, you know, do what you want. Either way, this is the Anova Equus 3420 Smart Test Light. Uh, you can get it on Amazon for 20 bucks, and, uh, you know, it's heavy gauge wire, nice sharp probe. Uh, cigarette lighter adapter and the heavy duty alligator clips which was all the things that I needed to build what I'm building so uh, figured it was worth 20 bucks to give it a try anyway thanks for watching